Hi guys, I've got a request to do a rubber band powered car where we twist the rubber band instead of stretching it. I've done a couple before um, but I'm going to do a new one just using a piece of cardboard as the chassis. This is from one of my other cars. It's a nice double thickness piece of cardboard but that's fairly irrelevant. I just needed a piece of cardboard for the chassis. I'll put some drinking straws on it front and back in a minute. Barbecue skewers for the axles and I'm going to use these they look like plastic pulleys they're actually um, runners from the inside of my daughter's dishwasher that I took apart yesterday but I'm going to see if I can use that for pulleys to go from a circular motion that way to turn it 90 degrees to do a circular motion that way with a rubber band connecting the two. But they're quite large holes in the middle, so I'm going to have to pad the um, barbecue, barbecue skewer up quite a lot to make it fit. So I'll probably wrap some tape around it or something like that. And then I'll have to figure out some way of mounting that so that we can turn it, make a little tower or something to mount it on. Right, I'm just going to wrap tape around this until it's as big as that to grip the pulley. There we go. So that's a good tight fit on there. So that's that bit. Now we need to do the same for this one. I'm going to use this bicycle spoke as the shaft for this bit. So I need to bend it. Uh, I need to put a tube on it first, then put the tape on it, and then bend it so we've got a crank handle so we can wind it up. I've bent my bicycle spoke, so we've got the hook on the front to hook the rubber band onto. A bit of uh, stiff plastic tubing there, a couple of beads, and then I've got to wrap lots of tape around here to build it up again so that I can put that over the tape and hold it in place and I'll probably put some hot glue in there to hold it while we wind it up. So now to wrap some tape around here. I'll glue the axles in place. I've got to remember to put the rubber band on first because there's no other way of getting it in place afterwards unless you cut it and tie a knot in it, which I don't want to do. Now we need to mount this bit at the right sort of height. We don't put too much stress on the rubber band, but enough to keep it reasonably tight. So I need to adjust that. I can always unglue it and re-glue it if I've got it wrong. But that should be about right. There we are, all up together. Quite thick rubber bands I've actually used for the motor. So we'll give it a test run. Probably have done with a tighter rubber band on the back because it's slipping a bit, but I think it'll be okay. There we go. No 
problem. Just a little close up of that mechanism working. I just lift it up. So that was quite successful. Very pleased to have been able to use those plastic pulleys from my daughter's dishwasher. So, summary time. This is for Dave Surunga. He suggested I should do a car. Well, let's put the camera back down so I'm not shaking around. He suggested I should do a car that's wind up rather than stretching the rubber bands. And there you go. Quite pleased with the result. Um, the body is just some thick cardboard. It's actually from one of my previous projects, which is why it's already sprayed gold and black. The wheels are all CDs with bottle tops in the middle for the hubs. The axles are both barbecue skewers. Uh, the tubes are drinking straws. As I say, these pulleys are actually the runners from the trays going in and out of my daughter's dishwasher that I disassembled the other day and scavenged all the bits out of. Um, this is a bit of bicycle spoke that I've bent. A couple of beads there to give us a friction surface. surface. A uh, bit of pretty thick plastic tubing there. And the rubber bands which are hooked onto a paper clip at the front there. And it works. Pleased with that.